So this is a quick uh, tip and trick video for a free form. Um, so in, I believe it was when we released 2019, uh, we released these new hybrid tools. And we released those hybrid tools. Uh, there were some older tools that we had in our interface that we did not put in the default interface. So what I mean is when we added the hybrid tools, you see that we have extrude, revolve, uh, curve network to piece, sweep, and loft. Those tools, not only are they renamed, but they also um, are combined into one uh, tool. So here's an example. If I, if I create a plane and I just pull it away from the clay here, and I put a sketch on it, we'll just, uh, just sketch a general thing here. There we go. So if I create that shape, the new hybrid tools, you see that we call it extrude. And it's very similar to wire cut like we used to have before. Just the interface is a little bit different how we work. We give you a beautiful preview. The options are a little bit different. But you'll notice here that we have extrude and we have to and from all the regular options with draft. We can create it, we, we can Boolean with the pieces around, but we're missing the emboss options here. So those are not, those aren't in this tool if I want to extrude. So the reason why we create these hybrid tools is if I draw a sketch, I'd love to be able to just toggle between and say, maybe I want to extrude this as a mesh or extrude this as a solid or clay. You, know, you can dictate what it is. It's the same command regardless of of uh, what the deliverable is out of it, right? And this, this solves a problem of having to have four different commands for uh, an extrusion, a simple extrusion, right? So when we did that, we decided that it was a good idea to hide the old wire cut clay because we're trying to save icons anyway. So if I go ahead and get out of that and instead of accepting it, I'll just tell how to get this wire cut clay back. The way I like to do it is I come all the way down to the bottom and I drag out my favorites palette, which is this guy. And you can throw anything inside the favorites palette, right? So if I wanted to create patch, if I hold alt, I can drag create patch into this interface here. And if I want to remove it, I can just hold Alt and remove it out of there. So I will often put a lot of different commands in here that I frequently use. That way it saves time searching throughout the, uh, throughout the interface here, trying to figure out where it is. So I'll, I'll throw a bunch of different icons in this favorite palette, but Wirecut is not in here anywhere, right? So if I drag out the favorites palette and I hit spacebar, you'll notice you have the ability to go over to Customize. Now in Customize, you can toggle over to Construct Clay, go all the way to the bottom and you'll see Wirecut Clay is down there. So if I go over to the Favorites Palette, I can go to Construct Clay, Wirecut, and then hit Add, and it will throw it in my Favorites Palette. Now another area that it would be easy to do it as well is just come over to Favorites List and add it to the Favorites List, which is the shortcut that got us to this interface here. So once you do that, now I can click on wire cut here. And this is what's different about wire cut that I like. If I hit next, I can actually use this raise or lower, which is essentially doing an emboss. If there's a piece in front of it, I can hit raise or lower by two millimeters and hit apply. And you'll see I had create a new piece, so it actually created a separate piece and raised it off the surface. But if I turn that off, it will merge with the piece. And then if I want to remove from. And again, another neat thing about this tool is if I just get out of it again. And we'll edit the plane. If I just rotate that. This is kind of why the tool is interesting. So if I have this crazy angle, do the same thing. And then I say raise and lower. You see how, what it does? How it like offsets from the surface? No matter how organic that shape is, it's gonna 
essentially do an emboss. So it's just a really helpful tool. It embosses from a specific direction is what that does. And that isn't in the hybrid option. So this is why I keep this available in the interface. So I hope that helps. Uh, Wirecut, Revolve, uh, those tools are still in there. They're just in that Construct Clay palette. Um, so that's uh, Wirecut Clay. Thanks.